is Steve Mann, the meat director of the 2008 Bench Press Nationals. Video number two, Q&A. Questions coming in today, two questions. One's related to the Masters World Team. Always a very uh, confusing item with the ages and the Masters World's uh, bench press team being in 2019. How does the selection process work on those bubble lifters? And what I mean by bubble lifters, there's lifters currently who are going to be in their 40s, going to be in their 50s by 2019 worlds. So the, basically the rule is the year you turn, let's, let's go with a lifter who's going to be turning 50 in 2019. Anytime in 2019 they're going to turn 50. So let's say they're going to turn 50 in December 2019. Okay? which means right now they're 48 48 years old lifting in the m1 at bench nationals this september but they're gonna be 50 by the end of 2019 so one they're gonna enter they're gonna enter as a masters one because that's what they are they're a masters one they're 48 years old gonna be 49 later this year and they lift against the M1s. But from a world team, bench world team perspective, they are lifting for the M2 qualifying. They're gonna try to make the M2 bench press team because by rule, they're gonna turn 50 in 2019, which means they're eligible to lift as an M2 at Worlds because the calendar year goes by the calendar year. So even though May 2019, they're still not 50. From an IPF perspective, they are qualified for an M2 spot. So let's so uh, so if you have a lifter going to be turning 50 or 60 or 70 in the calendar year of Worlds, so 2019. So if you're born in let's go let's go 30. Let's let's talk about someone who's not yet a master who's 38 right now, going to lift in the open division at 38 years old, but they are going to be going to be 40 in 2019. Let's say their birthday's in October of this year. They're going to be turning 40 next year, calendar 2019. That means someone who's theoretically going to be lifting 38 years old this year at Bench Nationals because their birthday, because they were born in, what would it be? 1979, right? A 1979 lifter, say an October 1979 lifter, they would be eligible, is that right, to lift at the M1 in the M1 at Masters Worlds because they are going to be turning 40 in 2019. Kind of confusing. So in the um, in the uh, posted roster, I have a year of birth. Year of birth has been posted. So if you're looking at someone who's lifting in the open, lifting in their birthdays in 1979, they are actually gonna be competing for the world team spot as an M1. If you see a 1969 lifter, 1969 lifter, even if they're lifting in the M1, they're competing for M2. If you see a 1959, they're competing as an M2, but competing for an M3 spot. Make sense? So a 79, you are competing against them for an M1 spot. 69, you're competing against them for an M2 spot. 59, you're competing against them for an M3 spot. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that doesn't create more questions, but try to explain if you're in the, you're lifting this year, you're lifting in the master spot that you belong in, but from an IPF world team perspective, you're lifting for the year you turn into the into the next group up and then they basically look at it as they round up they round up so if you're currently you're going to be an m1 in 2019 they've rounded you up from a world team selection process that perspective okay the other question coming in today will the usapl merchandise be sold at the event absolutely yes at all national championship events usa merchandise will be for sale so those are the two questions coming in today. 
Hope that helps out. Hope your training's going well, and I'll talk to you again soon. If you have any questions that you want covered on a video, please bring them in. And even if it's a clarification on what I just said, because uh, it is confusing. So just let me know, and I'll post the video or respond. Thanks. Have a good one.